welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you have returned to hang out with me here on YouTube, I truly appreciate it. As you can see from the title, uh, I'm going to be doing a first impressions and wear test on the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm. So if you're interested to see how this all turns out, <laughs> mistakes and forgets and all, please keep watching. Okay, I've already done all my face prep and my brows and my eye, my eyeshadow. And I've color corrected too. Today I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer today with the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm. And I'm in the, I, I got, chose the color Deep FB15. It, it comes in 20 shades. And this is the second to the last shade. So I'm going to tell you guys what the claims are for the foundation. And I'm just going to read that from the Kevin Kwan site. Okay. A full coverage buildable foundation for all skin types in 20 different shades. The foundation balm formula delivers a silky flawless finish for younger looking skin fortified with hyaluronic acid and bonus antioxidants such as vitamin E. The foundation balm hydrates your skin for a supple look and feel. The innovative foundation comes with specially designed brush, a specially designed brush brush for effort, effortless blending and application. The foundation matches the etherealist foundation shades and includes four additional shades to find the perfect color. This is safe to use on arms and legs as it leaves a powder finish and you get 0 0.7 fluid ounces. So it's not quite a full ounce of foundation which is typically what we usually get when we get a foundation. So that's the brush and this is the foundation and it comes in a container like that. And it has a little protective cover here and that's what the foundation looks like. Yeah, I accidentally stuck my nail in it. <laughs> So we're going to just go ahead and get started with this foundation. I'm really hoping that this color will um, match me. I wanted to let you guys know that I tried to adjust my lights a little bit better. So it's a little bit more true to color. The camera that I have is, you know, not, it's, it's really a photography cam camera, not really for like making beauty videos. But you know, it's what I have and it's what, you know, we're working with. So I'm just going to dab a little of this foundation out of here. It, let's see. Oh, okay. It's, it's creamy and it feels, it's kind it feels slick. Oh, that's the only way I can describe it here. I'll just put this little bit here on my face and I think this color is going to match me. Uh, I did watch a couple of reviews and it says you just want to kind of swirl it in a little bit and um, and just dab it in and then blend it. In. So. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. A little bit goes a very long way. That was oops. <laughs> I told you guys I was gonna be dropping something in every video. I was not kidding. Just doing a little dabs at a time. Okay. 
It looks like <clears throat> it would be really thick when you just look at it in the little jar here, but it's not. It's not super thick. Not to me. And this is my first cream foundation. It has really nice coverage. You see that? Just that little bit. I don't have a lot of um, acne scars or <clears throat> blemishes and things to cover up, but I do have like my natural contour is pretty dark. And it's covering that up really good. Okay. I think I like this. Well, I, I certainly like how it looks and how it spreads out. And this brush is really nice. And I'm just swirling a little bit like that. I love this brush. Love it. Now, I don't usually put too much foundation under my eyes. I just uh, color correct. And not all the time. Um... And then just go on with, with my concealer after I put on my foundation. Okay, so I would say that that's, you know, pretty much one layer and a light layer. I'm going to put a little bit more on my mustache <laughs> uh, even though I color correct and shave and everything I still have that that's one other of my uh, hyperpigmentation I guess you would call that because there's no hair there it's just looks like I got a mustache there so I'm gonna put a little bit more Okay, so what do you guys think? I think that looks good. Just want to make sure I got a boom in really good. Okay, I don't think I'm going to add a second layer. It does, I believe it does say buildable coverage. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think I need um, another layer, so I'm not going to do another layer. Oh my God, I forgot to put my primer on. Well, <laughs> we're going to see how she holds up without primer. Oh boy. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go and finish the rest of my makeup, and I will be back. Oh, goodness. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did not show you what time it was when I started, but it was probably about 45 minutes ago when I finished applying the foundation. So the time is 12.08. Wait, there it is. Can you see it? 12.08. And I did not 
set the foundation because it says it, you know, it has a pow, pow, powder finish. So I didn't want to put powder on top of it and I don't really think I need to. Um, so like I said, it's been probably about 45 minutes since I finished putting it on. And I also wanted to, I read you guys what the, um, details about the foundation was on the, um, Kevin Kwan website, but I wanted to read you what it says on the Sephora site. A full coverage foundation with an innovative silky balm texture fortified with hyaluronic acid and for a flawless finish in an extended shade range. I guess they mean extended from their previous foundation. The coverage is full, finish is matte, formulation is cream. For skin type it says normal combination and oily. And it also says that it has uh, vitamin E that protects and conditions the skin and avocado oil supports the skin barrier and protects against external damage. Now the ingredient call out says free of parabens and the first two ingredients in this foundation is dimethicone and then glycerin. So if you are have a reaction to a dimethicone then you probably want to stay away from this since it's the first ingredient. I think that's all the specs. Um, I am going to uh, record a couple of videos and just go about my day. I will come back and do a check-in and let you guys know. So I'm going to um, move in a little closer so you can see. Uh, one thing I did notice that, you know, when I said I don't usually put foundation under my eyes, and I did put a little bit of it under my eyes, and I noticed that, I don't know if you can see it, that um, my concealer started to, it, I guess it, what am I trying to say? It, it like left a little mark here on each side in the same sort of spot too. Like right in here. And right there. It's like um, my concealer didn't want to stick to that area. So that's one thing I noticed about it. And I used this concealer before. This is the... Giorgio Armani uh, pow, Power Fabric. I keep on calling it pow, Powder Fabric, but it's Power Fabric. I, I would have set this with my uh, Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And the only other thing I would have done, but I didn't do, is I would have used some of my um, Becca Be A Light Finishing Powder. Try to hold this up so it doesn't blind you guys. Uh, I would have put just a little bit of this on, but I'm, I'm not going to do anything to it today. This is just the foundation. I just put on some blush and highlight and bronzer, but I didn't do anything else. And I'm going to spray my face with uh, some MAC Fix Plus, and then we're finished. I will be back to check in a little later. And we'll see what this foundation is looking like. Okay, see you in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back for my first check-in um, about the foundation. A couple of things. I was editing and I had on my reading glasses. So first of all, here I'm going to zoom you guys in. Uh, okay. So... Of course, so my glasses rubbed the foundation off. And remember, I also forgot to put the primer on. And, you know, that's okay because not everybody wears primer. So, um, I will wear this again using primer and let you guys know, depending on how well it holds up for the rest of, of the day. Um, no, I will. I'll, I will definitely try this again with primer. 
because besides it um, rubbing off on my nose there, I noticed that I have these horrible forehead wrinkles. Botox, I need it in my life. But anyway, um, you can see how, you know, it just is in the creases. And to me, it, it's uh, creasing a little bit more in those uh, wrinkles than with my other full coverage foundation, you know, my Estee Lauder Double Wire and my Tinted Doll Ultra Long Wear Foundation. It does happen, but it doesn't seem it it's, doesn't look that prominent with those as it does with this and this is a cream foundation the only thing i've ever tried that i would consider to be like a cream foundation would be iman stick foundation about four or five years ago or something like that to i guess to me that would be more like a cream than a liquid so but um, this is the first cream foundation in a, a pot or jar or anything that I've ever used. The other thing is I could have used just a little bit more uh, coverage in some spots. My smile lines, uh, I have hyperpigmentation in my smile lines. And so I can see a little bit of that here. So I could have put a little bit more there, but I think the foundation looks pretty. And this is the second time I'm doing this for you guys, because I was way too close and you couldn't see. And I did a lot, just a tiny bit. And I didn't use powder because I didn't want to put any powder on top of this. And I, and I bought it just right in here and in here and a little bit right here. Um, and after, you know, it was, uh, the time was 12.08 when I showed you guys. And we need to add for like 45 minutes to that. So now um, it's, um, well, it was five, it was 5.30 <laughs> when I sat down here. But now it's 6.03. So I've, I've had this on for about six and a half hours or so. Can you see that? 6.03. Um. And, you know, I, I just blot it a little bit right here and right here and just right in there. And I don't think that's, you know, out of the question to blot your foundation after six hours, you know, even though I've been, you know, in the inside and everything. But, you know, if I was working in an office, I would be inside all day. So that's, that's really the only thing. The only other thing is this, this here and... I don't, I don't know. I haven't had that problem with this concealer and my Laura Mercier powder with my other foundations. I think it's because I did put foundation up under my eyes and I don't normally do that and I shouldn't have done it with this. So I'll know not to do that the next time I wear it when I uh, use my, my regular primers and stuff with it. I'm gonna. I am gonna test it with that that Milk Makeup Hydro um, Grip Primer, and but I'm gonna put my Too Faced Peachy in my in my T zone and on my nose and stuff. Um, but that's about it. I think the color matches nice. I even with just 20 shades, I think the color match is nice. I could probably turn this light down a little bit for you guys and if I could just reach back here and get that knob okay there we go I'm turning that down there we go okay so it's not as quite as bright but I think it is a good color match you guys can let me know what you think about it. I think it's a very pretty foundation. I'm pleasantly surprised. I saw a couple of um, videos 
where um, one in particular that it did not work well for her at all. Um, she did not like it. So, um, what else? Is there anything else I want to say right now? I don't think so. I'm going to go on and I'm going to probably try to um, record another video, maybe do some more editing, get some food, I'm starving. And I will check back in and I'm going to try to do a 12 hour wear test on this for you guys. Okay. I'm going to zoom back out. I don't know if I zoom so well yet. Okay. That's it, guys. That's my first check-in. I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is my final check-in. It is 10-11. So it's pretty close to 11 hours that I've had the foundation on. And I did not blot again. I, um, <clears throat> I did take a little drop of concealer and put it here because I had a little funny mark there right here and I just fixed that. <laughs> I think it was because I was recording my box of charm video or something and so anyway back to the foundation that's what we're talking about. Okay I did not blot or anything. I ate, I drank, I like I said, I didn't do anything strenuous today. I was just editing videos. What do I think? I think I like the, the color match. I think I like, I think I might like this foundation. Let's take a closer look at it look in this mirror. Okay, it is full coverage. Um... It seems like it's breaking up around this area. Here, I'm going to zoom you guys back in again. If I can remember which way to push this to go in the right direction. There we go. Oh, and that just could have been from my glasses. That's what I'm thinking. Pulling my glasses on and off. Yeah, that's what all of that is about up there and, and in here. But... I don't think that I don't think it like broke up or anything really and I was thinking about this up here throughout the day um, this is a full coverage foundation and this Giorgio Amani is full coverage concealer and I put a little bit more on today than I usually do and I I put it on top of this found this cream foundation so I think, um, like I said, I won't be doing that again. I won't be putting the foundation in front of my eyes again. And I'll go a little lighter with this or I'll, I'll use a more luminous kind of um, concealer. And just play around with it and see. But I, I am going to keep it. I am not going to return it. I think it's pretty. I think it, I think it looks pretty. You guys can tell me what you think. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm oily in, in my T-zone. Um, but I think if I, you know, truly had oily, oily skin six more hours later, I think I'd be a whole lot more oilier than this. Um, foundations have oil in them anyway, so, well, some of them say oil-free, but anyway, that's another story for another day. <laughs> um... But yeah, I think so. I don't think it, look, it's, you know, it's not all broken up in my, um, and it, and it really didn't sink into my smile lines in, you know, in a bad way, I don't think. I think it's pretty. I think I like it. And no primer. Oh, have I been covering up my face the whole time? I'm sorry. Um, and no primer. I know this is really close. I, I'm. I don't. I'm gonna be scaring people who have a big screen television. <laughs> but I wanted you guys to see. And I don't. 
I don't think it accentuated my pores or anything. So, like I said, for the hundredth time, you guys can tell me what you think. But I think I'm going to uh, keep it. So I'm just going to go ahead and blot a little bit. And I look extra shiny too being in front of all these lights, but and in in you know my mirror here, I don't look nearly as shiny as that. And I think that the primer will help that. So I'm just gonna blot a little bit. And it looks really good. Yeah. Really nice. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out. Oop, that's the end. That's the end. Okay, I was hoping I could make it until it would be a full 12 hours, but I gotta take this makeup off and I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> I got up at about 2 30 this morning, so I gotta go to bed. So if you decide to pick up this uh, foundation, and try it out please let me know your thoughts on it or if you have already uh, tried it out I know it's a limited shade range I'm I hope that they the hope that they uh, extend it because it is a nice foundation in my opinion there was one more thing I wanted to tell you about but now I can't remember what that is should have wrote it down okay <laughs> have a wonderful day have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful evening, no matter what time of day it is for you. I truly appreciate you stopping by to hang out with me. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified the next time I upload a video. A, a video. Ugh, can't talk. The next time I upload a video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and remember forever be your pretty. See you in the next video. Bye.